basically all I carry depending on where I'm going which tent I take that one or that one Alright, so I've been just bored stiff, so I was thinking about doing a loadout video. Um, it's basically what I take, what works for me. Over the years, I've changed my gear so much. Like everything in here is totally different to the last time I've gone in these. So it's all down to what you want, what you can afford, what you want to save up for, how keen you are all that. Sometimes I'll go and I'll take a big tent, this is that Stiker, the poles are in there, that's four kilograms there, and basically it's really heavy. If there's two of you, you can spread the load. What I do is, I'll tie it on the back, the bottom of my bag, just tie it on, like that. Obviously, you take the poles out. It's tight on the bag and it just sits there. And all the weight's on the bottom, so it doesn't really. I don't really notice the weight, to be fair. Same with the. Uh, the other one just dropped. The solo. It's half the size, like. Again, it just straps on. Just sits on the bottom of the bag. Good. No poles in there. What I do with the poles is find them. They'll go in the front of the bag. Come on. Get the pegs out. Poles. Pegs. Fine. And then obviously strip that, strip that on the bottom there. So this total weight of this with the tent on I've weighed it before it's only about 15 kilograms of course that's got no beer in it beer bumps the weight right up as you know right the other bit I was going to mention some boots keep my boots in Boot back, it's much better than getting in your car. Uh, uh, uh. My last trip, keep them in, in the boot bag. These are um, Mindel Bhutan. Well, I always keep a little brush in, the, in there with them so when you come off the hill at night, you can just brush off, brush off any stones or muck. These have got quite a bit of polish on them, right? I can polish them. Just keep the mug off, you know, and then it makes it easier the next time. It's dead handy, this bag, but definitely recommend getting a boot bag. This one's a regatta. Boot bag is dead cheap. That was like a fiver. It's dead handy. And it keeps all the stuff that gets on the bottom of there. Keeps out of your car, you know. Definitely recommend the boot bag. Right, as to this, this monstrosity. Now I don't always take everything, but when I do, it is heavy. So I've got me a little chair, that Robin's Pathfinder chair. I'll take that if I'm not going too high, and too far, and if the weather's like this. Obviously the poles and the pegs. So the pegs I use are these Alkit spikes. They go into most ground them. Really good. Bang them in. But over here is an example. They do bend if the ground's too much. So be aware of that. So what I did was on the recommendation of Look, the outdoor enthusiast. He's got some of these. Titanium nails. Extra long. 
light as a feather, titanium. You reckon we'll go in anything? He was banging them in the ground when we were camping, and they were splitting rocks. So they're pretty good. I haven't tried them yet, so we'll find out if they're any good next time. If we ever get back out. Back out. So that all goes in there. That's a pig bag, so that just ends up in, in there. Stuffed in. Right. But in the top pocket, keep. This is a rain cover in there. You can put bits and bobs in there if you need to. I haven't got anything in there. I've got my Sea to Summit Eros pillow, which is packed in now. A spare stove, MSR pocket rocket. Good little stove that, everybody knows about them. This is my little spare one. Filter. This is the Sawyer Squeeze, micro squeeze. Bag. It holds a litre in there. Right. We've got Rav Power battery bank, power bank. It is 26,800 mAh. That'll power your laptop then. And I've got this charging cable online. It's braided, so it's really strong. That's a good cable that, good charger that, that lasts about four trips that, fully charged. See it's in my cup, pop up the cup. I'll get Bob. Little first aid kit. Uh, that's all in the top pocket. Ooh. So for the next bit, we're on the floor. This is the bottom pocket. Just get comfortable. This is where this is where I cram as much stuff as I can. So we've got this is me little pouch for coffees. A lighter. Rocket, rocket power rock lighter. I've had that for years, great then. I've had this little pouch for years, take it everywhere. Bits and bobs, coffee and tea. I've got the MSR stove. Oof, can you believe it's windy as hell? MSR stove. I've seen that before. It's good for simmering and cooking on your frying pan. Gas, little titanium mug, little 300ml, AliExpress, £9, light as a feather, right, plate, metal, MSR skillet, which has had that's off the old stove. The new stove doesn't do that. The old stove ruined it by putting all the heat there. So I'm not worried about that. I'll always choose the food I'm taking. Just for sure, I've got these in the bag. Wafer stuff. And I've got the AeroPress. Really, that's everything in there for the AeroPress. Little Alpkit table, the splitter, everybody's familiar with them. And the jet boil mini more. Just bought that, just went to the dark side, I'll tell you about that. And the XPED down mat, which I've also done a review of. It's still going, that's really brilliant mat. I've had great use out of that, and it's still going strong. So I'm really happy with that. I think that review was about a year and a half ago, maybe two years. So with this minimal, 
I'm gonna do a full review of it. Like you get that's the gas for the bottom. It goes on the bottom. You just screw your gas onto it. But the good thing about it is this it's like a pot stand. So just open these out. Put them on. Sit it on. Find out how to do that. And you can use it for your frying pan, which is brilliant. You can't do that. All the jet boils. They're normally just the big pot. So you just put that on there and take it out. Put that on there. But with the size of the pot, you can get one of them in. And. So that pot's brilliant. That really helps. So you can boil both of them if you want. Keep that, keep that, keep that one boiling away. And that's it. Use that water, clean your plate. The rest of it. So that's what's in the bottom pocket. It's a lot of stuff. But don't always take that. Because we've got this. And I don't always take that. We've got that other collapsible cup, or vice versa. Oh, don't always take the frying pan either. So I've got these. I've got these meals here. I don't need the frying pan or the plate really. So I'll always plan what I'm going to eat and then take what I need accordingly. That was just to show you it all fits in there. Even if I do take it all, it all fits in there. So now what we'll do is. In the main compartment. This is very good. So that it's just a windproof falls off. It's dashes in there. Good for like a base layer, keeps the wind off and it's good that cheap. Spare top. Which needs I think it needs a wash. Needs a wash like it's got. I might have forgot that was in there. Waterproof pants again, only packed if the forecast is bad, which is all the time in my case. Down jacket, that that's kept me warm. So I think I've had this three years now. I've never been cold in this coat. Get what you pay for with that. I've never been cold in that. This is my little pouch of electronics. I've got tablets, wind, speed meter, little radio, Craig Charles, um, toothbrush, toothpaste. I normally keep my GoPro in here. Oh, that's the eye. GoPro, batteries, Just some of the bits for the GoPro. Earplugs, and we've got the earplugs. So it's handy that couch that just sits inside. We can't we just shove everything in there. Everything I need, really. Probably stuff I don't need. Definitely stuff I don't need. That just sits in there, or you can put it in the pot or the lid or the bottom of the cans anywhere, really. You can strap it on as well. Got little straps. Look at these. Everybody's got them. Got. My sleeping bag in there, the Rab Ascent 1100, fits in that bag. That's quite compact, that's a size is, I think it's the medium one. Medium dry bag, seat summit, so it's waterproof. And it's just, a, it's just a compression bag, just stuff it in. Right, waterproof coat. Again, only if the weather forecast. Gloves. These extreme gloves, if it's going to be cold. Good for you. You've got to put your hands in warm though to keep them warm. And foil mat. Double sided. That's a double size that. That's for the, that's for the bigger tent. And bladder. I keep that. Normally keep that in the freezer. Kills the bugs. This is two and a half litres. Depends where I'm going. I'll take like a litre of drink for drinking if there's a tarn or a lake. 
or a water source. Two litres if there's not. Varies in weight. That's it for the main compartment. That's all that's in there. Just them things. So on the outside pocket, there's a pair of gloves there. Nobody's claimed them. So I'm claiming them. They're mine now. Another pair of gloves, which I forgot were in there to be fair. And that's that one. And on this side, I keep the, the dollar pegs. These are always getting used, these, because of the wind and wind. Eight in there. But if you compact them down, if you fold them in properly like that, put them in a footprint bag, you just go in the side pocket, zip up, knee bother. People say they're too big and bulky, they're not. Like, you can make them so they're not. Basically, oh, that's it. Take a little towel on there, just so if it's too hot you get sweaty. What you do is if you're walking in the heat, you dip this in the stream, wring it out and then that's lovely. It's lovely and cool when you're doing that. That's a really nice way to walk. It's refreshing. Just remember to keep wringing it out. Cheapest chips, 150 or something. So that's it. That's it. Ooh. It's bright. So the thing to remember is, you take what's good for you, what, what you can afford at first, because all oh my gear I had no at the beginning. It was all cheap as chips. Right. Upgraded to water, better waterproofs. Obviously better waterproof coat. I've had that since day one. I think I need a new one of them. So you just take whatever you can. Whatever's, whatever's good for you. The stuff here I probably won't need. But like I say, I plan my trips and um, I pack them accordingly. So if I'm taking steak, I'll take the frying pan. If not, no need for the frying pan or the plate. Um, if there's water sauce, I just have enough to drink in here. Half a litre or a litre. Keeps the weight down. Um, things like that. I won't use that in the summer. That doesn't get used in the summer. Although it is nice and comfortable with it underneath. There's no need for it. Big gloves get left behind in the summer. A small tent gets used. If there's two of us, big tent. And uh, that's it really. That's really handy though this. It's really good little bit of kit this. Falls into itself. It's light as a feather, you know. It does not keep the wind off. It's good to wet underneath a big coat. So I'm impressed with that. Not, I don't think they're that expensive. Any sort of wind windproof underneath doesn't have to be this one. And this falls away. Pretty pocket. Really handy. So anyway, that's it. Um, just hope everybody's not gone crazy yet. <laughs> Taking videos of wallpaper. I was going to do one of the grass growing and maybe a bit of paint drying. Let's see what happens. Hopefully we can get back out soon. But for now, stay indoors.